Happy online exclusives launch day, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I am Teresa Harper, the an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Oregon in the United States. I'm so glad that you're joining me tonight. And we are going to be working with a new bundle and some other products in the suite of collections for the A Little Latte Suite. The Stamp and Die bundle is called Latte Love. And when you purchase these two items together, you save 10% in the bundle price. Let's go ahead, see if I can find us. And sorry, I just got distracted because my computer asked me a question. And I don't have time to deal with that. So let's get going. Find us on. There we go. Make sure the sound is off on that computer. All right. Hello, Laura. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Cynthia. Thanks so much for being here. Hope everybody has had a good week. I have actually actually done a lot of creating over the last few days. It worked a lot. I think I've got some pretty good samples for you. And we're going to make one card and a 3D project. So I hope you enjoy that. Um, and let's go ahead. We've taken a look at this. Let's take a look at our Latte Love Designer Series paper. I probably should have organized this for you. So we have 12, tw or, yes, 12, 12 by 12 sheets, six, two each of six double-sided designs. Oh my goodness. So we have this one and we have this one and you can see I've cut one of these cups out of the paper. On the back side, we have little tiny cups, spoons and coffee beans. Oh, look at that. You got a good shot. And then we have this. This is perhaps one of my favorite papers. And on the back side of that, I love this one as well. I loved this paper so much. I bought a second pack. Oh my gosh, look at those. And the dies will cut out both the coffee, the whole coffee cup, or you can just cut out this little piece here. So double duty on the dies for that. This sheet of coffee beans, we have dies that will cut every coffee bean on this sheet. And on the back side, don't you just love that pattern? It is so pretty. Okay, and are we through all of, nope, we, I don't have them all in order. So then we have this one. And the back side is Calypso Coral with coffee beans. And that, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's all of them. Okay. So. I myself am not a coffee drinker. However, as I'm going to show you today, this set is just not for coffee lovers. It can also cover tea and cocoa, which anybody who knows me personally knows that cocoa is my drink of choice all year long. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into our projects set those aside and let me make sure those dies don't come up missing. I'll, I like to store them on those magnet sheets and then just put them in my stamp case. Keep everything neat and tidy. All right. So let's start with some sample cards that I've made using this stamp set. 
or this suite of products because this particular uh, card does not use, well, the sentiment is from the stamp set. This cup is from the paper. And then the rest of these designs here, these are from the Sweet and Lovely and what is the other one? What's it called? Notes of Nature. It's from that Notes of Nature suite of products. That's where the paper's from. And the background stamps are from there as well. Okay. And then on the inside of this, I have that. Okay. So we have that one. This one I made last week. In case you missed it. This is uh, Encircled in Nature, which is another one of the new online exclusives, along with the coffee beans and the coffee cups, <coughs> and this designer series paper from the Coffee Latte Suite. And then this was a birthday card that I made for my daughter for her birthday in February. She is a coffee nut. Her favorite flower is lily, so I used the Easter lily stamp set from the mini catalog along with the A Little Latte Suite. And then this is called a Twist and Pop card. And I just used some of the Designer Series paper. This is a perfect example of how you can use your edge pieces uh, when you don't have a complete cup. You just use that as a partial and put it on the edge of your paper, okay? So we have that one, and now we'll get to our project. That's all the bonus cards that I have. All right, so here we go. We're going to make our card. I'm going to set my sample up here. We'll get out our supplies. Okay. So I'm going to be using the designer series paper on this particular card. We will be using some of the designer series paper from a little latte, but in addition, we're using uh, inked botanicals. This you will find in the annual catalog. It is item number, I don't have the item number. Oh, yes, I do, 161157. I love this pack of paper. And these coordinate very well with the paper from the A Little Latte. Okay, so we're using that. I've got a couple of die sets that we're also using. We'll be using the mini pocket die. And let's see, we're gonna be using the pocket die itself and this little tag here. And then from the everyday details in the mini catalog, we're going to be using this little the second to the smallest circle, okay? And we'll be using the adhesive back swirl dots. These are part of the A Little Latte Sweet collection. Let's put those up there and see if that will focus. Not looking like it's focusing real well. Okay, well, sorry just doesn't want to focus. And we will also be using the ribbon that is in the A Little Latte set. Okay, and this is called Polka Dot Trim. It doesn't, I'm going to be honest, it doesn't make bows very well, but as you all know, I love my fibers. Okay. So our color palette for this particular card is Pecan Pie, Early Espresso, and Lost Lagoon. Okay. We have a card base of Pecan Pie, and this is four and a quarter by five and a half. And to that, we're going to add a piece of the A Little Latte Designer Series paper, four by five and a quarter. And we'll 
just going to center that up. Okay. And then we're going to set this aside. Okay. I've already taken from the botanicals. I took this plaid piece, the six by six, and I used the mini pocket die and I've already die cut that out for us. So let's go ahead and we're gonna fold this on our score lines. And just to form a mini pocket here. And I believe, yep, I did. Okay, so I'm actually going to take some, you can use your regular tear and tape. I'm going to save a little bit of time. And I'm going to use some tear and tape that is a bit narrower than the tear and tape that we have. You could use liquid glue for this, but I don't want it to, I don't want to wait for it to dry. So I'm just going to use a 1 8 inch tear and tape. But you could use your quarter inch and then just fold it back on itself. But for time's sake, I'm going to do it this, this way. Because I have it on hand in my crafty stash, so I'm going to use it. And I should have put that a little closer to the edge. So when you put yours on, put it right up there next to that fold line. And you'll get a nicer looking pocket. Okay, so before we close our pocket, I like to take, I'm gonna take my tear tape off first. And I'm gonna burnish that. And I just like to use the tip of my take your pick tool because I'm gonna flip it over and take that tape off. I've already got it in my hand, so I might as well use it to burnish. And then I'm gonna put my gift card right in that pocket okay i'm gonna fold these over and then i'm gonna line up that bottom seam and then i'm gonna tuck in that side seam and remember i've got my gift card in here so i'm gonna use that to help me i'm gonna put that right up next to that edge Press that down and give it a good firm. And what I've done by putting that in is I've given myself a little bit of extra room, okay? So now I'm gonna take that back out. I'm gonna burnish both sides just to ensure that that tape holds nice and stable, okay? Now, this little pocket will fit the gift card. Um, if you don't want your card to be a coffee card or a coffee so uh then you can take and take a this is a stash tea and if you just fold the sides of your tea bag in your pocket becomes a tea bag holder okay so we've got that let's go ahead and put our gift card back in let's get out our pieces and get our stamping done so we're going to need some scrap paper. Hang on just one second, please. No, you're not going to. Oh, the cat is in here and she kind of decided I thought she wanted out, but then she just plopped herself on the floor. We're going to take our Lost Lagoon ink. Okay. And from the a little latte a latte love stamp set there is a little splotch in here and we're going to take our splotch and i can't remember yep i stamped off and on i'm going to rotate my stamp as i go trying to remember to stamp off i'm not always very good at that I get in a hurry and then I forget to stamp off between. 
Okay, there we go. Right. Oh, hang on. One little more splooch right down there in the corner and I'll be happy. Okay, so we've got our Lost Lagoon inks now. Now we're gonna take this piece and our ribbon. And we're gonna cut a piece of our ribbon. to fit across our layer here. And then I'm gonna take myself some tear tape so I can get it out of the package here. And I'm gonna put a little bit of tear tape on the back and I wanna put this here. And we're gonna do this, let's see. I want to go just below center. I'm going to put some tear tape along this back edge here and here. And that might be a little low for what I want. Let's see, about right there and right there. Did I go? Well, I got this piece a little low. That's okay. We'll fix that here in a minute. Let's go ahead and get this one on. I'm just going to press that into the tear and tape. Add a little more tear and tape over here just to make sure that I have plenty and I have it where I need it. Hi, Tracy. Okay, now I'm going to take this and straighten it out. And I want it tight, but not too tight because I don't want it to bow my paper. And then I'm going to fold that over into my tear and tape. I'm going to burnish that in. And then I'm going to take some liquid glue. I'm going to bring back in my card base. And I'm just going to put liquid glue all the way around here. And I'm going to go right over the top of that ribbon because I want to make sure this sticks and doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so I've got my Tombow glue on there. And then I'm going to place this down on here. Center it up. Make sure I give that ribbon a good press because I want it to make sure it sticks right there at the ribbon. Okay. And then for this, I'm going to take my card here and I'm going to put some Stampin' Seal on the back side of my pocket. And I'm going to center this up. Okay, so now I can put my gift card in there, or I can put my tea bag in there, but we're going to take that a step further. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring in some pieces, some extra pieces here. I've grabbed a couple pieces of that same designer series paper, the Inked Botanicals. 
I've got three different patterns. And out of those three different patterns, I use those little cup dies, these two, and I cut two with the handle to the right and one to the handle to the left. And then I took this little piece right here and I took a piece of the pecan pie and I cut one, I cut one of these, which gives you two. So I have an extra from my original um, project. And let's go ahead and put those together. Just wanted to show you where those pieces came from. And here is my little, if I can get a hold of it, my little piece from that die cuts two of those, and that's your coffee for these little mugs, or your tea, or your cocoa, whatever you want it to be. So let's go ahead and put these together. And for that, I'm going to bring in my silicone mat. Okay, so I'm going to put my crushed curry piece. And then I'm going to stick in my uh, Lost Lagoon one. And I'm going to grab a Stampin' Dimensional. And you saw that those have the slits cut. I just slipped that right into the slit. That's there already. Almost messed that up. So I'm going to get that how I like it. And I'm going to flip it over. And then I'm going to put a Stampin' Dimensional there to hold that in place. Next, I'm going to take just a tiny bit of liquid glue. I'm going to put that right there, and I might have got too much. So let's fix that, because I don't want that all over. So what you do if you think you got too much, well, you don't drop it. You tip it up and go like that. That'll take your excess glue off on your silicone mat. That'll dry up and we can roll it over. And then I can just put my coffee or my cocoa or my tea right there. Okay, so this is ready to go. And we're going to add this. And I'm going to try to set that so it looks like the coffee is even when it's sitting down. And actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and put these two on our circle. That'll make it a lot easier for us. Okay. I think. Because I can put this down so it's straight. And then I will put a dimensional at the top of our cup right here and then we'll get that all settled in here the way we want it to make it look like it's straight so the coffee's not going to spill out and we'll give that a press all right Sorry about that. The cat was scratching at the door, driving me nuts. Okay, so we've got this. Now we can go ahead and add this piece to our card base. I'm just going to do that with stamp and seal. We can move this out of our way. Bring this over. I'm going to put this in here. And then we're going to take, we're going to decide. This is where you get to decide. I have Calypso Coral. Okay, Calypso Coral tag. I'm stamping all these with, uh, whichever one we choose will be stamped with early espresso. So we're going to use either the Calypso Coral we can put it wherever. 
Then we're going, or we're going to use crushed curry. Or the Lost Lagoon. Go ahead and tell me in the comments which one you would like. For color. While you do that, I'm going to grab my early espresso. Lost Lagoon, Tracy says. Anybody else? Lost Lagoon for Laura. Okay, it looks like Lost Lagoon is going to be our choice. So we're going to take this and I think we'll put it right there. And because we're, um, we have more height here than we do here, we're going to add a Stampin' Dimensional to even that out. So we're going to put a mini right there at the back. And I'm going to put just a tiny bit of liquid glue up here at the front. Okay. I stamped that with the sentiment that comes from the Latte Love. It says, this one's on me. I'm just going to place that right there. Like so. And we'll finish that up in a minute. We have one more piece to get done here. Oh. Hmm. Oh, there is no inside. What am I thinking? Okay. So for this piece right here, we're going to take a corner rounder. This piece of basic white is cut at two and a quarter by three and five eighths. Okay. And I'm gonna I'm gonna round the top two corners with a corner rounder. And then from the paper, I told you. Don't throw away those pieces in the designer series paper. I'm just going to take and fussy cut this out really quick. Just an edge piece that was left over. But I don't want a full cup on that tiny little piece of basic white. It would be too overwhelming. So I'm just going to take that and cut it. <clears throat> And then I'm going to add this to the bottom of our card. Actually, I'm going to put this one on the side because I think that's the way it'll look the best. And I'm just going to place that right there along the edge. So I've got my coffee cup inside. And then I'm going to take the thanks so much from that stamp set and the early espresso ink, which, wow, what did I do with that already? Oh, I, cut, I put it over here. Set it too far to the side. Okay, so we're going to ink that up in the early espresso. And I'm going to stamp this about right here. Okay. And then let's see, did I keep, yep, I did keep a thread. Okay. So with that same ribbon, I took and cut off the side and I've used quite a bit of this and we're just going to pull apart this last little bit here. And this leaves behind some fuzz on that very edge. And that's the part I really want is that thicker part there. So I just took all that white stuff off. And then I'm going to take a 
1 8 inch hole punch or a 1 16th and I'm going to punch that okay and then I'm going to cheat because I put the teeny tiniest hole in there if I had put a bigger hole I wouldn't have a problem doing what I want to do but I didn't so I'm going to use a dental floss threader Uh, if I can get this one to jump out of here. And I'm going to put this in here. Oh, like this. I'm going to do it the correct way. And then I'm going to take this and fold it in half. Put it into that floss threader. And I'm going to pull that through that hole. And maybe I'm not because this is two pieces. Okay, hang on. One second. Let's try again. I'm going to go to a quarter inch or an eighth inch. I mean, I'm going to make my hole just a little bit bigger and make my life just a little bit easier. And then I think I might not even need that. I might be able to just double that up and push it. Nope. Okay, it's gonna be fussy. It's okay. Let's go back and pull that through that hole. And then we will loop that. And we'll set that aside. And I'm gonna put this in front. Make sure you get that corner. <clears throat> glued down. I'm just going to lift that up and put a tiny dot of glue in there just to make sure that I get that corner. And then I'm going to take my bone folder and smooth that out. Okay. And then when we put this in, which is easier to do this way and then put your gift card behind it. Okay. And then I'm just going to take this and I'm gonna tie up a knot and I'm going to work that so that when I cut it, It's not going to be really above my card. All right. So there you have it, our first project. You've got a place to write your message. You've got a gift card holder and a pretty card that says this one's on me. And if you don't want the gift card and you want to just throw in a tea bag, just throw your tea bag in there. And there you are. Oh, we need to put our uh, gem on the front. Okay, get that out of the way. And let's grab those gems. <clears throat> so we're going to add one of these. I'm going to grab a few things out of my way because I've got quite the mess going already. Okay, here's my take your pick tool. And we're just going to take one of these darker dots. And I'm just going to put that right there over that hole. And there you have it, the finished project. I hope you like that. Oh, I just can't seem to get it right in front. There we go. No, I don't know. I'm having a hard time getting it in frame there. Okay. There we are. That's for project number one. Okay, let's move on to our 3D project. Wasn't a lot of stamping on that card. Let's move these things out of our way. I think I might need the pecan pie back, but we'll 
I'll we'll see about that in a minute. Oh, and by the way, here's the envelope that I did to go along with that. This stamp also comes in that set, the coffee stain there with the splats. And there is the matching envelope. All right. Okay, things are not doing what they should do here. We don't need the tear and tape right now. Let's get rid of that for a bit. All right. Good grief, what a mess. I am a very messy crafter. Can anyone relate to that? Okay, let's get to our next project. Our next project is a 3D project. Let's set these aside. Okay. We've got some starry sky pieces of cardstock, and this is a good opportunity for me to remind you that this is part of the 2022 to 2024 in color collection. Those um, colors of Orchid Oasis. Starry Sky, Parakeet Party, Sweet Sorbet, and Tahitian Tide will all be retiring at the end of April. So the retiring list should be coming out on March 18th. If you want any of the items that can, that um, contain these colors, like stamp pads, markers, um, ink refills, if you didn't get them already, any designer series papers, anything like that, I would get them now before the 18th when the card comes out. Oh, thank you guys. I'm so glad you like that card. Okay, so I didn't grab myself an extra piece of white here, so let's do that now. I think, yep, this will be big enough, I believe. So we're going to take for this next one, we're going to take a piece of basic white, and we need... Let me switch my let me switch my tub so I have the correct one in the correct order. We're gonna take our basic gray ink. Okay, and we're gonna ink up the mug. Um, we're gonna do it this way. Okay. I'm gonna ink up our mug and then we need that early espresso or did I use? No. Uh, yes, I did actually use early espresso. Okay. Tried to keep the amount of stamp pads down. Okay. Then from our set, we're going to take the uh, liquid. And I'm going to stamp that down here in the early espresso. Okay, and then we're going to color this. <clears throat> using our Stampin' Blends. And I'm going to start with the dark balmy blue. And I'm going to put a little bit of dark balmy blue in the handle here and here. And then I'm going to put a little bit of dark balmy blue along here just to give it a little depth. We'll put a little bit at the bottom here. And, and then we'll put some more here along this edge. And I'm just following the artist's lines. And then we're going to very carefully go around this outside edge on the back. Put a little bit more here and here, and under there, okay? And then we're gonna take our light balmy blue, and we're gonna go back and blend those, okay? Blend those in. And when 
to get over here. I'm going to try and leave just a spot of white as a shine spot. Okay. All right. So there's our cup. Now there is a coordinating die for this. And when you cut it out, it looks like this. It even cuts the little hole for the handle. I saved us a little bit of time by doing that. Let's go ahead um, with, let's see, we need a piece, the starry sky that is four and three quarters by four. Four by four and three quarters, this piece. This is for our box. Out of this piece, we're going to use the same die we used for this. Okay, so that's this die. And we're gonna cut two of those out of the starry sky, All right? And on this piece of white, we also needed to stamp our, excuse me, an early espresso. Might as well do this now. Some beans. And I just need one set. And then we're going to color those with the dark and light pecan pie. Which, hmm. My dark pecan pie is in another bucket. Okay, well. No, our, my light one is. Okay, so when I color this, I'm gonna color just the centers with the dark and then there's artist lines here. I'm gonna color those. And then right here. And then I would finish coloring those in with the light. If I, oh, it is right here in that same bucket, but hiding. And then I'm just going to go back and fill in the rest of the bean. And while I'm at my stamp and cut and emboss machine, I would use the die to cut that out too. Okay. So once I do that, then I think, nope. I also need to cut from basic white with them mini pocket die i'm pulling in the mini pocket die again or no i'm not i'm pulling in the cracker and treat box die and i'm just going to grab this little piece and i'm going to cut that in white which i haven't done because it's easier hang on it's easier for me to stamp this piece and then cut it <laughs> okay so let's get the where did my sentiment go? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here it is. I actually pulled this sentiment from Rustic Crate. This was a carryover from the holiday catalog. And I'm going to use this little for you right here. Okay. So let me see. Maybe I did cut that little tag. I've got two of the Starry Sky Cups. I did cut the tag. And I actually needed two of those coffee beans, so I've got those done. And the tag. Okay, so we've got all that together. And now I don't know what I did. Oh, Ooh, a little heart attack with the die. I lost it there for a second. Okay, so these are our pieces. Now we're going to use starry sky ink and i'm going to take the for you and i'm going to put it in this orientation and i'm going to stamp the for you on there and i'm going to hope i can do this actually it's a pretty tiny little piece remember with these thin little stamps you don't want to press hard because you'll distort your sentiments. Okay, so those are all of our pieces.
Let's set these pieces aside and let's make our box. Okay, so I'm gonna get this die out of the way. Okay, and we're gonna bring in our Simply Scored tool and move all of those. Okay. <clears throat> so on our Simply Scored, we're going to score on the three and or the four and three quarter inch side, and we're going to score at one half, one and a half, two and five eighths, and three and five eighths. And then I'm going to rotate it, and I'm going to score on the four inch side at one and an eighth, two and three eighths and three and a half. Okay. So we've got that. Now let's bring back in our scissors. Here's our template. This is the four and three eighths inch side. This is the four inch side. Okay. Let's see. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to turn this this way because I like to cut. Let's, burn, let's fold and burnish first. I like to cut from the back side of my cardstock because I find it easier to cut along the score lines if I do that. So, and the key to a nice box is to have some nice crisp score lines. Okay. So again, we've got the four and three quarter inch side. I'm going to turn that over. This is going to be my glue tab. So I'm going to cut here and here on the second one from the bottom. Just angle cut on either side. And then I'm going to cut this rectangle off. And I'm going to cut these two rectangles off. Okay. And because I made those slanted cuts first, I just have to cut up. Okay. So we look like this. This is going to be the back of our box. Or actually, this is going to be the side of our box. You'll see in a minute. And then I'm just going to remove this square. Okay. That's the top of our box. These are going to be the side tabs, and this is going to be the flap. So I'm going to cut up on these score lines to the second horizontal. And so I'm going to cut that and cut this. All right, now I need to remove these. So I'm gonna cut off this, and actually, I'm gonna bring in my trimmer at this point. Oh, yes. Okay, hang on. Oh, I didn't cut enough off. That's why it's not looking right. Oops. Okay, I needed to cut this whole section. Sorry about that. I needed to cut right here at this flap and then cut this whole section out, removing those two, okay? Then I can fold this in. I'm gonna fold that down. And then I'm gonna cut the, I'm gonna put the edge of this at the half inch mark, which is two of these. And I'm just gonna cut those off. Okay, that leaves me my tuck tab. Now I'm gonna cut my bottom pieces up on all of my score lines here. Okay, this is gonna be the, the back, this is gonna be the front, and these are gonna be the two sides. It looks a little odd because 
the front and back are narrower than the sides, okay? So I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna fold these, and I'm gonna cut those at half an inch. And I do that so that they're opposite sides, 180 degrees, okay? So now we look mostly like our template, okay? Now I'm gonna take these shorter tabs on both the top and the bottom, and I'm gonna angle cut so that they tuck nicely into the box. Okay, so we're almost there. Now we're gonna take a punch, half inch circle punch, and on this side that we cut this whole section off here, we're gonna take and put a, oh, maybe a third. This is a half inch circle again. And I'm gonna take and put maybe a third of that into it. I just want a little finger tab so that you can grab into that box, okay? I'm gonna grab that corner rounder again that I used on the last project. I'm gonna fold these down and I'm gonna corner round both of these corners on the tuck tab, okay? There we go. And if you get just a little notch like I just did, just trim it off with your scissors. Because that's such a tiny little one inch section, it doesn't want to corner around quite as well as I would like. Okay. So now we have this. So we're going to put some tear and tape on our glue tab and we're going to put our tear and tape right up next to the score line okay and then we're going to tear that off and then opposite this flap on the inside we're going to put some tear and tape because this is going to be the front of our box okay now, I can see that I need to trim this just, I didn't do a very good job of cutting up there, so I'm just gonna remove that score there. And then we're going to go ahead and put this together. Did everybody have a good day today? I made a Costco trip. Always a fun time. Okay, so I'm gonna lay that down. I'm gonna fold that in on the second score line from the right. We'll fold over the first score line from the left. Make sure those line up top and bottom. I'm just gonna press that down. Okay, there we go. So I've got that. Make sure that's nice and tight. And I'm going to fold these in, close up that top, and then I like to fold my back in first. Whoops. Hang on. Fold my back in first. I'm going to take a little glue on the side tabs here. And before I do anything else, I'm going to take off my tear and tape, fold that down, fold my two sides over, and see how, because I cut those off, they're going to go in nicer. And then I'm going to take my front flap, secure those down, and open that up. And I'm going to give that a good burnish. 
Okay, now what fits in this teeny tiny little box? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. We can get in two Rolos perfectly. Close that up. Or because we're making a coffee cup, I got some dark chocolate espresso beans from Trader Joe's and I wrapped those up in um, cellophane, tied it with a piece of lemon linen thread. And I'm just gonna stuff those in there. Now I've got some espresso beans. Now, we're going to add our pieces and make our box, okay? So first of all, we're gonna add our stamped piece to one of our um, Starry Sky cardstock pieces. So I'm just gonna do that with a little bit of liquid glue. And I mean a little bit. And with the liquid glue, I can slide that into place so that it lines up the way I need it to. So I'm just gonna walk my fingers around all the sides and slip that into place till it matches, okay? Then I like to take my bone folder, hold on to one end, and bone fold the rest of it, okay? So we've got that. Now this is gonna be the front of our box and I wanted a side opening. Um, here's our cup. I wanted it to look like you could kind of pour the cup out, pour the things out. So actually I'm gonna put my opening this way. I didn't pay attention on my sample so that when I pour it, it looks like it's pouring out the espresso beans. Now, do you have to do that? No. Okay. Oh, I forgot to do that. We've got to do that still. Oops. I need my little coffee cup that we didn't do on that starry sky. We were supposed to emboss that. So I didn't pre-do that. Let's stop and get that done because that's important. Okay. Hang on one second. I'm going to grab my embossing tools and powder because I forgot I didn't do that and I'm going to bring back in that piece of scary, starry sky I had here all right Oop. we're going to take this stamp that looks like a cup let's get out our supplies Okay, we'll get our bossing buddy, give that a good rub. Get our Versamark ink. And ink this up. Nice and thick. Okay. Make sure that it adheres well. And then we'll pour our white powder on. And there we go. Take that off a bit. Close this up. And get these things out of our way. And then we'll get our tweezers from our embossings edition kit. And our heat tool. Okay. Give that a good heat up. And then I'll just heat this up. We'll get it in camera frame here for you. And as soon as you see it turning shiny, move on. And then I'll go ahead and finish that from the top. 
And there you have it. Okay. So we've got this cup. And you would take and cut this with the die, but I'm going to save myself some time. And I'm just going to fussy cut this because it will take me as much time to get out my supplies as it's going to take me to fussy cut. And I need to cut off this handle anyway. So I'm just going to do it. But there is a die for this. You don't have to fussy cut except to cut off the handle because I wanted to use this as my saucer rather than the handle. See how I just cut that off? Can't even tell it. Okay, so our cup has a rounded bottom and we need that to be cut off a little bit, okay? So we're gonna take this and we're going to put it into our trimmer. And we are going to just put this so that it looks like it's straight. I'm going to take just the very bottom off of it. Keeping my handle up at the top. And let's see, I think I'm about good. Take that off. Okay, now I've got that off. I wanna make sure that this one is exactly the same. So I'm gonna put them together and put them back into my trimmer together as one. And if I can make it work, and I'm gonna put that back in there just like that. And come on, trim. I actually got all three layers and it didn't want to trim. So I'll just take my scissors and straighten that up. Okay, now I've got a flat bottom to my cut. And now I can add these to my box, like so. So I'm gonna put my glue on my box and I want my opening to the left. Of course, you can do it however you want. I'm gonna set this down, making sure that my bottom is flat. My cup looks straight. I actually cut off more. Hang on. I need to cut off a little bit more because I need to measure this so that it's, I'm just gonna do it this way. Just like that. And then I already glued this so I don't want it to stick. I'm gonna have to be fast. It's best if you measure that first. Okay. That way you don't have the bottom of the box showing. You cut that off just right and I didn't still even. I need to get that up even more. Just measure your cup because the, the um, idea is not to show the edges so you've got to get that cup up enough so actually i'm going to put this on that's what i'm going to do that's going to be the easier way to do it just put it on yep until you get it in place how you want it i'm going to add a little more glue sorry about that you guys this is how you should do it put your glue on measure your cup so that everything goes down even with the corners of the box there. Do your front piece first. Make sure it's straight at the top. And then you can cut this right there like that. And then everything will be as it's supposed to be, okay? 
Then with this one, you need to make sure that the front of your die cut is facing toward you or the back of the cup is out, okay? So again here, you want to take this. We're going to put some more liquid glue here. I'm going to take the box with the back of the die cut. We're going to take that down, lay it on here so that our corners are even and it looks all nice and straight and lined up. I'm going to give that a good press and then I'm going to take my scissors and trim along that box bottom. Okay? And if I do that, it's all going to look really nice. Okay. So then I can just take, because this is all nice and flat, I can take that, take some more liquid glue on the bottom of my box, make sure this is right side up. Center that on my saucer. And give it a press. Okay, then I'm going to turn it upside down. Burnish that in. Okay, then we're going to take our coffee beans. And we're going to add these to our project. Whoop, a little bit of liquid glue. And I'm going to put these down here like this you won't, so you don't notice that you've cut off the bottom of your cup. So that when you look at it, it just looks like you've got coffee beans. Okay. So now you can't really tell that you have a flat bottomed cup. Well, you can't if you get those coffee beans to stay where they're supposed to. Okay. All right. So the last thing to do is to put on our tag and fancy it up just a bit. There are my little dots. Okay, so I took a half a glue dot, and I still have a half a glue dot here. And I'm just going to wind this up because it's pretty small. I'm going to put this on the back of my tag, like so. And I'm going to stick my tag right here, like that. And then I'm going to take another piece of that same wine because I had that piece and I'm going to make myself a double bow out of that same ribbon that we used on the last project that we stripped. Let me tie that up and give it a trim. And if you stayed with me to the end, thank you. It took a little bit longer than I wanted it to take. I'm going to take my little glue dot and with my take your pick tool, I'm going to put that on the back of my knot here. And I'm going to add this. to my cup, and there is my little project. I hope you like those little coffee cups. Now it's gonna open, and you can just pour out your little treat. 
Okay, and remember it will also hold two of the Rolos. If you put them one up and one down, it'll hold the Rolos. These happen to be dark chocolate caramel, but you could use any Rolo that you have on hand. Okay, so there's our projects for tonight. Let me bring back in that card. Thank goodness it didn't get on my wet wipe. All right. So there you have it. Our little treat pouch, coffee cup, espresso bean holders. All right. Thanks, Tracy. I'm glad you like that. That was one of the things that I thought, oh, I could make some sort of treat box with those coffee cups. I just had to figure out how to make those curved bottoms work for me. All right. So I will see everybody back here next Tuesday for another video. And I hope everyone has a great week. Thanks so much for joining me. Good night.